health is something which is important to everybody of us. And uh, if we are speaking about the uh, diseases like, you know, heart disease or something like that, that all goes to ourself. What the regime we are living, jogging we are or not, or all that stuff. But there are diseases which are not caused by us, by us, but are caused by small guys like bacteria. And uh, it appears in the 21st century that uh, it is becoming bigger and bigger problem. Why? Uh, the point is that the, the bacteria are mutating and they are becoming uh, resistant to generally uh, developed or used antibiotics. And we here in Georgia, uh, it appeared that usually science is not connected to this or that nation or, or country or state. But in this case, it appeared that we are the pioneers and we are the most developed uh, institute in the world which works with the bacteriophages. What are the bacteriophages? Bacteriophages are viruses which are attacking bacteria and killing them. And that we are using for many, many decades against bacteria which are pathogenic for the humans. So this is the general description of the phage, how it looks like. It's like a Pershing or something like that <laughs> kind of missile. Uh, but the, the, the point is that he is dangerous only for bacterial cell. And that's the case why we're using it. This is how it works. The, these Pershings are attacking the bacterial cell, going inside, multiplying their DNA, their genetic material, and then getting out hundreds of them. So they are self-controlling, self-multiplying remedy if you're using it in the right manner. There are limitations, of course, for, for using the antibiotics, as I said, because the, uh, the, the penicillin, which was, uh, which was uh, described uh, and discovered in, uh, in the beginning of the 30s, and then widely used in, starting for 40s. Now, can you use it? No. There's no, not any one bacteria which are afraid of penicillin now, but, but there, are, there are new antibiotics like vancomycin, meticillin, and the stuff which you are killing bacteria, but together with bacteria killing the, the human. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's the case. But the, the, the main stuff, what is here, is that the phages are very, very specific towards bacteria. And not only generally bacteria, but particular bacteria. The Staph aureus, for instance, which is a, a huge problem now in the developed world with the MRSA, so-called, methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, especially in the hospitals. We have the phages which are killing only Staph aureus, nobody else, not any one bacteria, by the way. To kill the other ones, we use some additional phages for that. And uh, this is the most important stuff to use these phages for infectious diseases. Now, a little bit history. As everything in the world, the bacteriophages were discovered by the British guy. Uh, but uh, as many things was used by the French guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Felix Darrell was the, uh, the person who understood what the phages are uh, and worked very closely with our uh, Georgian professor Eliava, who is next on the, on the uh, photograph. And these two guys were working in Pasteur Institute in France and worked in Georgia as well, back in the 30s, in the beginning of the 30s. And they managed to open the institute, which, which is uh, the institute, which I'm now called that I'm the director of that institute. But uh, they were used to uh, work together uh, until 1937. 
because in 1937, then uh, this guy was killed by this guy who managed to kill millions of uh, people uh, and Georgians uh, with a big proportion in that, although he was Georgian, everybody you know. Uh, but then Felix Derrell didn't come anymore. But the Institute managed to keep working on the phages. And that was only one institute in the entire Soviet Union and entire world, which was just dedicated to work with the phages. And it happened that it was a good decision in that times. Now, these are the, uh, these are the phages which, we, which are brought from uh, Pasteur's time and Felix Derrell's times from, from 20s and we keep them in, in our institute and they are still alive, these guys. Uh, we opened them uh, just uh, a year ago and they were alive phages, which you can multiply and use for fighting against bacteria. In uh, Soviet times, I hate the Soviet times, but still uh, it was totally different. These are hundreds of thousands of phages which were prepared and made manufactured and spread all over the Soviet Union. And with this manual of the Soviet Union, it comes just to zero. With, which happened with many other stuff uh, because of the dismantle of the big, fortunately dismantle of the big system of Soviet Union. But this was the institute at that times. Around 800 people were working in the institute. Uh, but uh, to turn now what we are doing, we are, we are still working with the phages. We are still learning them. We are still learning how they could be actively used against new and new species of bacteria that appears in the landscape, in, in nature. And that gives us, gives us a possibility to adopt to the nature which is not the case with the antibiotics. The, you have to find a new class of antibiotics and the bacteria are finding a way how to overcome. While we multiplying the phages which are active against new bacteria. So uh, most of the, uh, the other way how to overcome this uh, bacterial resistance is to use the, the cocktails, to use many phages and then it is impossible for the bacteria to uh, develop the resistance to, the, to, the, uh, to these phages as well. Now, these are the uh, usual preparations that we are manufacturing and selling in Georgia, and more and more requests are coming from outside Georgia to help them with the uh, resistant bacteria. Uh, we just restarted the intravenous staff aureus phage, which, which can be used for the general uh, septic diseases, which are extremely dangerous for any kind of people, especially for the kids and the infants. This is the, one of the first foreigners which came, and which do believe that I am the KGB guy, but that's okay. Uh, but uh, I met him accidentally in Montreal on the conference, and uh, he had huge problem for several years in his leg with the multi-resistant bacteria. And I said, come on, we'll help you in Georgia. We'll help him. He's still playing on, the, uh, on this, uh, his instrument. Uh, we're starting now to work with the cystic fibrosis guys, uh, which is uh, absolutely new field for us, and, which, and they usually Nobody can care, cure them, although this is genetic disease, but we are improving their quality of life drastically. And we have now a couple dozen patients from, mostly from France and Canada, I don't know why, don't ask me, uh, but who are coming and uh, we're giving them phages and uh, they are happy. The, the other stuff which I shortly will uh, uh, communicate is that this, the, this is not only humans who can be cured with the phages, because the phages work against bacteria. And bacteria working not, only, working not only against humans, but against the animals. And we have the phages which are working with the bacteria active against animals. We, bacteria are active against plants and cause some diseases of plants. 
and we are curing these plants with, with phages. Uh, we are working with the especially dangerous pathogens who are considered as a special class of, of bacteria, how to handle them. And you know these guys, would it be anthrax or Yersinia or uh, tularemia, uh, brucellosis and all this uh, very difficult stuff. Once more, this is why phages are important. Uh, why we are invited to speak with you because we have the unique approach against this uh, more and more widespreading resistance of uh, pathogenic bacteria to antibiotics and the approach that we are exploiting. We are trying to do our best. We are bringing the bacterial genome on these heights. You see this is the Kamaun Kasbeck. Uh, we're trying to bring as high as possible attention uh, to the problems that we are working. So thank you very much.